So today I'm going to be making banana pancakes. Banana pancakes has become a little bit of a cook tradition here um, as they're so easy to make and you don't need many ingredients. Uh, this does need eggs but um, hopefully you'll be able to find a few eggs for this one. I'm going to show you how to make it quite easy and there's a lot of different varieties you can do. Okay so to start off with you're going to need your flour. I'm going to use oats, such as normal oats that you'd have in your porridge, and because I think they taste nice in the pancakes, you can use normal flour, you can use coconut flour, almond flour, um, whole wheat flour, it's up to you. Don't use surf raisin flour for this one. Uh, to do this and to make it into flour, I'm going to have to use a um, blender to cut them down to flour, which I will show you as well. Okay, so to blend it, I'm just going to use my Nutribullet, you can use a Maggi Mix, you can use, if you've got a different kind of um, fruit smoothie maker, you can use that. I'm just gonna put my oats in. Okay, so you might have seen at the beginning that I measured my amount of flour or oats, whichever you're using, in a cup. If you don't have a cup measurer, you can weigh it and it's about 80 grams worth. Or again, you can just use your normal dessert spoon that you have to eat your dessert with at home and you want to do heat warm. <laughs> are so about eight tablespoons okay into your flour mixture you're going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda again if you don't have baking soda in the house you can use baking powder and remember it's not a heap it's a level half a teaspoon put that in mix that around half a teaspoon of cinnamon about that much and I'm also going to add a little bit of nutmeg again if you don't have these in your house you don't need to use them if you want to make your banana pancakes um, chocolatey, you can add cocoa powder. Okay, so, okay, so in this bowl, I have flour, baking soda, and I have my mixed spices. I'm just going to put this one aside for a little bit. In here, I'm going to put my wet um, ingredients in. So I'm going to crack two eggs in. So I've got two eggs, a teaspoon of honey, I'm going to add some bananas. Again, the riper the better as it means it's more sweeter. If you're not a fan of adding honey to your um, food, if you want to keep it really healthy, the sweeter the bananas are, the less likely you're going to need to add honey to it. So I'm going to add in three bananas into this. Again, with all my recipes, I will do um, instructions of what ingredients you need for you to follow it easily at home as well, along with the video. So in here, I probably could have used a bigger bowl. So now I'm just going to squash down the bananas in here to make them more in case. Okay, so once you've mashed down your banana a little bit more and your egg, you can have a few lumps and it tastes good, but not too big a lumps. You're then going to add in your fat. Now, I sometimes use coconut oil to add to it. Or some use, sometimes use sunflower oil or vegetable oil. Or if I want to make them more... Um, high in protein, obviously you can't do this, you've got a nut allergy, instead of coconut oil, I use peanut butter to add the fat. And for this, add two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm using chunky peanut butter as I don't have any smooth and chunky peanut butter is but much better than smooth peanut butter. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of that. They're quite heap tablespoons, so I'm making these for my husband and the more protein in it, the better. So once I've got my liquids together, so I've got banana, peanut butter, um, honey and eggs in here, I'm then going to add it to my dry mixture, which is my um, ground down oats, cinnamon, a bit of nutmeg and a bit of baking soda. We like to make the more American pancake style and that means they freeze quite well, so you can batch cook them all up which I'm gonna do. And then if they don't get eaten, you can freeze them and actually pop them in the toaster straight out of the freezer to have a bit like banana bread or um, pancakes again. Um, in this, you can add anything. You can add chocolate chips, you can add more peanuts, you can add raisins. Combine all your mixture and it looks like this. Food heaven. I'm then gonna pour it into a jug to make it easier to make my pancakes. Okay, so cooking your banana cap pancakes, first of all, you need a frying pan. You're gonna put a little bit of oil in your pan. I've got Frylight, 
from uh, Lidl or Aldi, I think it is. Or you can just use a little bit of oil, put it on a bit of kitchen towel and rub it around your pan. Once it's hot, you'll start to feel a little bit of heat over your pan. Don't put your hand too close, but you should be able to be able to feel a bit of heat. And then I'm gonna use a spoon. If you don't have a little spoon like this, you can just use a um, jug to pour it or just put a couple of tablespoons on. Uh, with this, sometimes if I'm feeling really lazy, I just chuck everything into the blender together, and then I pour it straight out of the blender into the frying pan, uh, which obviously is really easy. I'm gonna put that in for a little bit. It will start to bubble, which you'll see. I'm going to cook them for a couple of minutes on each side. Um, and then I'm going to do this till all my mixture is gone. This one is perfect because it's got big lumps of banana in it, so it will taste even better. So once you've done these all, you can cook all of them at the same time. Keep them in the fridge for a couple of days, up to about five days. Or you can chuck them in a, in a, in a plastic bag and store them in the freezer.